So this is a mile and a half track, like last week at Las Vegas. Same thing, right? Or is it? To find out, let's bring in the defending race winner, Kurt Busch, driver of the number two Penske Dodge, the Miller Light Dodge at Penske South Racing. Kurt, good to see you today. How you doing? Doing great. Everything's fine. So how different is the Atlanta mile and a half from the Las Vegas mile and a half? Uh, they're both completely different. Even though they look similar, Vegas has brand new asphalt. Atlanta has the, um, one of the oldest surfaces on the circuit. And so the two race completely different on how the tire grabs that asphalt. So Vegas, you constantly run the same speed every lap. Atlanta, you run fast in the beginning, but you're dropping off every lap. So you're really sliding around a lot at Atlanta. You won the poll last week at Las Vegas, but unfortunately the race didn't turn out really good for you. You were running pretty well, it seemed like, but then got caught up in a crash. Do you feel like, had that crash not occurred, that you had a car that could have won that race? And I know that would have been big for you being in your home track. Yeah, that was a complete bummer. Uh, we sat on the pole and had a loose race car to start. So we had our work cut out for us. Didn't know if we could have won or not, but, you know, we did get caught up in that wreck. Tried to go high. The car spun up in front of us. Really no place to go. So it's one of those circumstances early in the year where we find ourselves behind. Now we got to dig out of this hole. All right, we were talking a few moments ago about Jimmy Johnson of the Lowe's team and how can you not with all the success they've had. What are your thoughts on the magic these guys have? They seem to just keep winning and there's no end in sight. Yeah, they do just show up and they, they put on the pressure. It's unbelievable how they're able to do it. And we don't look at them. We will look internally on what we can do to be stronger and how we can make ourselves better. And yes, at the end of the races, that's when the money's on the line. And that's what I think was so frustrating to watch with Jeff Gordon dominating all day and then not having the car to win at the end. And who, who wins? The same guy. So what the cool thing was, though, is he went two months without winning. He didn't win in, de in December or January. All right, good way to look at it. Kurt, you're going into this season with a brand new crew chief. Steve Addington comes in after serving a few years with your younger brother over at Joe Gibbs Racing. So what have you seen so far that uh, Steve brings to your team? Well, he brings quite a years of uh, experience, and I like that. I had that in Pat Trison and also uh, Jimmy Fenning years ago. But what he's done right away is showed me some of the numbers that Kyle ran with, compared those to where we were last year with our Miller Lite Dodge. And the two numbers were very comparable, but we're doing it two separate ways. So that's what we have to merge together as the season progresses. But communication's at an all-time high right now. It's great. How long do you typically have to work with a new crew chief to finally get that chemistry together and learn to understand one another? Or does that something that changes from person to person? Uh, it takes time. That's the only healing medicine. But it takes time to make mistakes together to learn how to deal with those situations, such as Daytona. There we are running third with eight laps to go. Do we pit or not? He said pit. I didn't want to argue on the first day on the job. I pitted. Didn't turn out right. But I wasn't upset about it. We did it as a team. And we live together as a team. We die together as a team. And like the next week at California, we're running 15th. He says pit. Boom, it puts us right up in the top five after that sequence had cycled through. So you got to work together and you just notice each other's habits as well. You also have a new teammate at Penske Racing. Brad Keselowski comes over in his rookie year in the Sprint Cup Series. What do you see in this young man? And is part of your job mentoring him, bringing him along in the series? Well, there's, there's going to be great times that Brad sees, and then there's going to be those tough times that he sees. As a rookie, you go through all of that, and, uh, and you just have to experience it on your own. Then there's some things that I can help forecast for him, uh, things that I can help predict. And he's the only one that has to go through those situations. And so he's got to rely on his team. And the crew chief over there, Jay, he's transitioning well with Steve Addington and Travis Geisler. So a brand new program. Brad's running well in Nationwide. We just got to get him better in Cup. All right, Kurt, stay with us. We have more for you coming up today on Raceline. Kurt, in a few weeks, we're going back to the spoiler, getting rid of the wing. I think Tiffany said in the news it'll probably be around Martinsville time. Is this going to be a major change for you guys? I think it will. I think it's going to change up and mix up the season. Uh, this next week in Atlanta, that's the last race for the wing. Uh, then we move into the new era with this COT. It's going to loosen up the cars. We're going to lose a lot of side force with that wing, but yet we're gaining downforce with that rear spoiler. So I'm, I'm anxious to see what it does at Talladega for us as well. We want to see that big pack out there running again and then see what it does in traffic when we get to Texas and so on and so forth. Now, back to the race at Atlanta on Sunday. You won this race last year. What's it going to take to do it again Sunday? 
Well, we got to start with that same setup. Uh, I think we've made a couple of adjustments aerodynamically to help us balance the car back out with the new tire. So we saw a different tire there, both races last year. This is the third combination of tires. So we hope that it, it matches more of what we had last uh, March than it was in the fall in September. Well, Kurt, we thank you for spending some time with us today here on Raceline. Good luck at Atlanta and with the rest of this 2010 season. Absolutely. Thanks a lot.